So will the price of silver slump into the summer? Sure, anything is possible. Does anybody really know that? No, and that I know for a fact. Nobody who can tell you that the price of silver is going to go up or down knows. They can guess based off their, you know, their ideas. But the f- fact of the matter is that this is a completely manipulated market. There is not a market in the world that is is completely free market. We have constant interventions by central banks, uh, major players like J.P. Morgan and HSBC. Um, and they're all designed to keep their paradigm going, this debt and death paradigm going, uh, and holding back anything else that was there. So could the price of silver slump into the summer? There's a million black swans on the horizon that could collapse at the most inane thing. I mean, anything in the world, we could wake up tomorrow and the whole world has changed just like 9-11. And I believe that since the market is so peaked out, since the, the paradigm is so uh, hyper-ridiculous right now, uh, literally anything could blow it up. I mean, nobody thought the arch, the assassination of Archduke Ferdinand uh, in Sarajevo would kick off World War One, that would lay the groundwork for World War Two, which laid the seeds for the Cold War and the eventual explosion of the dollar empire that now consumes the world today. Little things like that, you don't think about the ramifications, but this will happen. And knowing that this paradigm is built off of this tremendous amount of debt and asset classes and perception and power, uh, the unwinding of it will be very rapid and quick and will probably come like a thief in the night. Nobody know will, will know when that happens. So if anybody's thinking that they're going to rig these markets up or down and think that they're going to get in and out and, and try to play cute with this, they're insane. You're either ready today or you're not. So some of these propaganda chart watchers are calling for $12 silver this summer. They're consumed with dollar wins and losses, and they're trying to get you to trick you into this gambling mentality of Wall Street of trying to buy low and sell high and, and, you know, put shorts and longs and stops and, and all this other stuff. You're playing in the rigged game. Understand that. They would not have you buy now. Because they're trying to entice you into the greed factor of buying at lower lows. And they'd probably have you sell at, at higher highs to get rid of your physical silver when the dollar price goes up. When we all know that during hyperinflation, uh, silver may be $100 one day, $1,000 the next day, and 100000 or a million dollars going uh, as the currency d- devolves into nothing. You don't want to play this game. Understand that your wealth is physical and not to be played with. If you think of this as insurance for the things that bad things may come, silver is the best insurance for that. For me, it's a transfer of wealth. I believe that it's a good way of transferring wealth into the next monetary paradigm. I believe it's honest money. I believe it's an opposite consciousness solution. What I'm calling for is the eventual end of this global debt-based generational Ponzi scheme, and it will be the single largest event in human history, and you need to be prepared for that and not take it lightly. But for those of you who not bought any silver and you need to decide uh, if the hope for another possible 6% drop from a market that's already down 68% is worth gambling with, my solution to you is that a bird in hand is worth two in the bush. I'd much rather be buying now at these prices than hoping that you know silver might go down another 6 for percent from where it was at the top. Um, sure, you might be able to get some, but you know, if the day changes where everything changes um, and you didn't buy the physical silver, you're out. You might be priced out of the market because the market is that thin. My only feeling is that the end of this bear market is not going to be like 2010 where we got price rises consistently every day until the spring of the following year where we went from $8 all the way up to $50 in a six-month spread. I believe at the end of this bear market, because it has been down so long for so hard, that it will be marked by physical defaults in physical silver and that people who thought that they had silver are going to be shocked to see, just like in uh, MF Global, that they don't have what they thought and that there will be supply crunches in a scramble for silver and those people that thought they had it are going to throw what remaining stuff that they had to get physical silver and that even the people that may have the silver at that time period may not even want the currency that they're throwing at them and that maybe no price is considered uh, good because the currency is going to die or that it's just too risky to send this stuff out and that we could have this series of not only a financial crisis but also false flags and wars and stuff that we don't even begin to consider all i know is that one day the world is going to change massively and either you're ready today or you're not